Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 68. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over a new feature in Xar Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And the new feature that we're going to talk about is called a QR code widget. And what that means is quick response for QR. And basically what that's going to allow you to do is going to allow you to put a kind of a barcode onto, you know, maybe an advertisement or even you know anywhere you pretty much as long as you have a barcode on that device whether it be a print ad or a business card people will be able to scan that barcode and go directly to your website that's usually how it's handled or you know even getting in contact via email and I'm going to show you how to use that in this tutorial so like for I'll give you one more example you know if you went to your maybe if you had an Android device or an iPhone if you go to your app store you download a barcode um, scanner you will be able to scan in the information and you'll you'll be able to see that as you follow this tutorial so don't worry too much if you don't understand exactly what I mean so let's go ahead and go to our designs gallery in the upper right hand corner of our screen and go ahead and lock that panel and we're gonna look for again the page elements folder so left click on that and then we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of that sub list of folders and you should see a folder called other widgets left click on that and you're gonna see this thing that looks kinda of like a barcode and that's called a QR code so you're gonna left click and drag that into your workspace and then left click on it once you'll get the pop-up menu that says widget and you're gonna click on the edit text and that's gonna take you to edit view and I'm, I'm gonna actually close out the designs gallery so that I can have more workspace and then you'll see that in step one it says to change the blue text below to the message that you want to encode as a QR code or delete the blue text completely if you want the QR code to communicate the web address of the page on which it is dis it, on which it is placed so you can put it on your website and it would just display your website information but if it were me I would just use this barcode on you know an advertisement actually and I would replace this text with my own personal website so I'm going to put in template.com and then I'm done. So once you're done, go ahead and select the selection tool to deselect that text. And then just go ahead and hit Control S. And after you do that, it's going to generate the code. And now it's done. So if you're looking at this on your screen and you have a barcode scanner on your device, you would simply place your phone camera up to this image with the bar barcode scanning software on and it will scan this code and you'll see if you try to scan this on your screen it's going to say our website and you'll be able to go directly to our website after you scan this barcode so you could place this barcode into one of your advertisements print it and put it out on you know a window at some store or you know post it on a board somewhere Maybe, you, maybe you're at a university, you can post it on a campus board at, uh, at your uh, university. And they would be able to place their phone up to it and go directly to uh, the website that you have. So it's a great way to market and really capture your, um, your uh, viewers. So I definitely highly recommend using a QR code to help promote your business. So that's pretty much everything. And that's how you use a QR code in XR Web Designer MX Premium version 8. If you have any questions, please send us a message on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe or embed and share our video. And give us thumbs up if this video tutorial was helpful. And let me know if you're able to scan this QR code. If you are able to scan this QR code, that is great. I'm hoping that you will be able to. Since I am recording this as a video, it may be a little bit more difficult, but hopefully you can scan that in. Thanks again for viewing this tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Yeah.